I love getting out into the country and meeting producers. Being from a dairy farm, one of my favourite meals was warm milk on my cereal in the morning. And I'm going to a dairy today, but it's a dairy with a difference. Camels in Australia are the stuff of legend. They carried our early explorers across the centre of the country. They were first brought out here in 1840 to help settlers explore pastoral lands in South Australia. And they were later used on the Burke and Wills expedition. They even carried sections of pipe to build the Goldfields water supply system in Western Australia. Camels are so suited to the desert environment of Australia. They even reached plague proportions a few decades ago. So what do inspired farmers do with this amazing resource that's so suited to our climate? They catch them and they use them for their milk. Today, I'm catching up with Stephen Gephardt, Camelia at Good Earth Dairy. So Steve, I've got to say, I've never met a camelia before. You're the first one. And I've heard that you've trekked around Western Australia on camels. Yeah, a few years ago, I grabbed two camels and decided to take off for a year and rode them across five deserts in the Nullarbor Plain. Yeah, it's a great way to see the country, yes, yeah, certainly. What I've noticed today in coming out to the farm is that they're so docile, they're beautiful creatures. Tell me about the nature. Basically, th these guys evolve without predators. Yeah. So they don't have that nervous, fight or flight instinct that a lot of other animals have. They don't tend to spook. So they're naturally chilled out animals. These guys are like the Bob Marley of the animal kingdom. They're just <laughs> I love it. super laid back <laughs> and nothing phases but them. But there's not, they're not smoking anything? No, no. <laughs> now how many camels have you got in the property? Uh, just over 130 at the moment. Most of these camels have come from out in the wild out Warburton Way. Oh, right. And they get tracked here to the farm. So they require a bit of training for them to get used to people and, you know, obviously walking into the building and getting clusters attached to their <laughs> teats. But um, yeah, after a couple of weeks, they settle down. and They get used to it. They're very happy once they're, once they're on their farm, their life expectancy almost doubles. Now, I see that when you're milking these camels, the young are still suckling on their mums. Absolutely. It's one of the upsides of a camel dairy compared to a cattle dairy is the babies don't get pulled away from their mums. And so that helps the milk drop. Absolutely. Yeah. So the babies will come into the dairy as well. They'll have a little drink before we start. That gets the milk flowing and then that's when we attach the clusters and get the milk. Marcel, the CEO, is a full bottle on all the health benefits. So Marcel, this milk is absolutely delicious to drink. And I tell you, in a banana smoothie with blueberries and a pinch of cinnamon, it's a complete food. Absolutely, it's, it's a good source of calcium and uh, phosphorus. It is rich in magnesium, manganese, potassium, copper and zinc. And it's got 10 times the lactoferrin of regular milk, which is associated with gut health. It, it's also uh, the closest milk to uh, mother's milk. It's all A2. It doesn't have the common allergen that is in regular milk. And it also has only 60% the lactose. So those who are lactose intolerant may be able to tolerate the, uh, the milk. I think I've discovered a new superfood. The guys at Good Earth Dairy are onto an absolute winner here. Come on, take another one. Here, have a bite. 